Hey guys, I'm back with a weekly wrap up video. I skipped last week. It was the Friday before my older daughter's sixth birthday party. So I was very busy, but I'm here. It's actually Tuesday. So I'm filming this a little early in the week, but I had time and I wanted to make sure I had one for you this weekend. So let's get started. I actually just filmed this and I didn't like it all how it was. So I'm refilming it. So I hope I can remember to show you everything. I am a little under the weather. So if I sound a little sick or just not making sense, that's why. I did forget to show you this last week. I have um, a few birthday presents I'm going to share. And this was something for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law too. But I, if you don't know, you probably do. I have been looking for a good black crossbody bag for a while now. And I've been so picky. Well, she knew I wanted one. So she was like, well, I want to get you one. But she was, you know, showing me pictures of them. And we finally found this one. She found it at TJ Maxx, surprisingly. It's by Vince Camuto. The strap is one of the wide ones. I think they call it like a guitar strap. And the actual body of it is a pretty good size. It's definitely large enough to hold a good amount of stuff, but it's not too large. It has this kind of exposed zipper. So it has like the edginess I was looking for. It has one of those back slide pockets that you can put your phone and then it closes. It has this magnetic um, flap. And it's a big pocket in here, a little pocket here, a zipper pocket pocket in there. And then this can be open and closed if you wanted to use that. So I absolutely love it. Um, I can't tell you price point since it was a gift, but check TJ Maxx. And I, Max, I did look online and I couldn't find um, a one I could link because I thought about that. I wanted to share it with you because I was really pleased with it. Okay, a few other birthday gifts. These earrings, um, I don't know how well they're showing up. They're the brand Nadri. I think that's how you pronounce it, on Nordstrom. And these are the rose gold. I will try to remember to link these. I love them. They're like little baby hoops. I can only wear studs and I have like the Stella and Dot sparkle studs, those little Kate Spade studs, and the Gorgina like hammer disc ones. I love. I've been wearing these almost every day. They just hug your earlobe. They're so cute. They're like a little bit extra than a stud, but I really like them. I'm um, thinking of getting my older daughter a pair actually, because I think they would be really cute on her ears. Um. So I do really like these. I'm going to put it back in. And then also I did get this um, product, which has been on my wish list for a little while. It was inspired by Mercedes, but it is the Tata Harper Illuminate Highlight. And it is just such a pretty, such a pretty highlight. It's not too much. It goes with anything. It's just, I don't know how well, I can never see these kind of swatches when I'm filming, but then when I watch the playback, I'm like, oh yeah, you could really see that. So it's so pretty. It's, I love it. I'm not like a big cream person. So what I do is I put it on, um, under my powder and use my beauty blender to kind of blend it in and it just, it looks so pretty. Okay, I did also get some birthday money, which I have been saving up for a pair. I wanted the Vince, like, slip-on sneakers, and I don't know. I'm still undecided, so if you have any suggestions for, like, a good pair of sneakers, specifically slip-on ones that you think are my kind of style, let me know, because I haven't pulled the trigger on that yet. Okay, I do have a few things, like, I have picked up. Some random things to talk about and then we'll just do some chit chat um as you know i really love the brand matilda jane for my girls they have their good luck trunk back last week and so i picked up my six-year-old a pair of shorties these are the jellyfish ones if you do not know matilda jane their stuff feels so good it's the best little girls clothing line in the world um and these will go with so much i really wish i would have gotten them for vera too but i didn't think about that at the time because Q like goes to school every day she needs far more clothes 
But I did get Vera this when we were at Sam's. It's by Carter's. And it is just the cutest little romper. It was like five something. And it actually feels really nice. Um, so I did get her that. And then my stepson, he picked out like that athletic attire. He picked out like five or six items from there. Which I'm not showing y'all because they're just like neon yellow and orange. But um, Sam's actually has some really good clothing items that's worth checking out. I got a birthday coupon from Loft for $15. So I had been waiting until they were doing like a 40% off sale because they do them like every few days. And I picked up this little tank. It's kind of like those Express Barcelona camis, which I don't have one of those. It's actually navy and white, which I was kind of hoping was black and white. I had seen Miss Crystal Makeup post these. And when I had gone in the store looking for it. But I thought this would be really cute. I did get the small. I, d I like a medium shirt a lot of times. But the medium, the armholes were gigantic. And um, for record reference, <laughs> that's like me being sick. Um, the retail is $44.50. But don't pay that for it. Because they have sales all the time. Okay. Then Whole Foods last Friday had these little beauty bags. And my friend went there that morning and picked us each up one. So I will go through it real fast. I actually did it, so I already like unboxed, um, unboxed all that packaging. When I'm sick, my brain is just like, mm. okay. The Andalou Naturals Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk. I have been really curious about. I never knew they did these bags until I saw no Nuvo Cheap post about it the other day. Um. And, you know, I've been really into the green skincare, so this was a fun way to try it. The Evan Healy Wild Carrot Nourishing Eye Balm. And it is just like a stick tube. I haven't tried yet, so I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> Whole Foods brand Hing Cream 20% Shea Butter in Peony, Mint, and Blackberry. I was actually in there today, and I noticed they have a pear scent and, like, an amber scent. And some of these are full size, like, um... These two items are full size. This is full size as well. The Acure Pore Clarifying Red Clay Mask. A natural mascara, which I don't have hopes for. High hopes. Because I, I hear natural mascaras are kind of bad. And this is the Mineral Fusion one in uh, black. Full size. This, I need to Google swatches because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Because I have so many lip products. Unless I really love something, I just don't keep it. The Pacifica Devotion, not Deeply Devoted Natural Lipstick and Tender Heart. It looks really pretty, but I just need to see if I, in fact, really need to keep that shade before I use it. Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Sensitive. Somehow I acquire so many of these, so I may pass that on. It did also have a Derma E Night Cream that I did pass on to my mom. The Wellada Almond Soothing Facial Lotion. And lastly, no, two more things. The Dr. Hushka Hoshka Facial Toner. This is what the box looked like. And this was a full size as well. And then this is the Trilogy CoQ10 Booster Oil. So, so far, not so far, but I think it is a really good value, especially for the products. And it comes in this really cute bag that I, um, I really like. It's like a woven bag. Okay, so a few things this week. We did go see Beauty and the Beast on Sunday. It was so good. I'm so like into Beauty and the Beast now. I want to get a Beauty and the Beast shirt from Kohl's. I want the little chip coffee mug. I want the Alex and Ani bracelet, the Pandora charm. I'm not going to get it. I'm just like head over heels in love with Beauty and the Beast. My daughter... I absolutely loved it. Me and her and my husband and my stepson went and saw it. And everybody really enjoyed it. My stepson was like, well, it was kind of boring because I knew what was going to happen because of the cartoon. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of the purpose. That's what it's about. Um, but he liked it. And my husband really liked it. It was it was really good. Um, I'm excited to see what Disney does next as far as their new adaptations. Because they did a great job with Cinderella. Um, I don't think it was scary, personally. I'm going to get slightly political. Well, you know, not political. Whatever. 
um, for a split second, which I don't usually do, but I know a lot of people have hesitations about seeing the movie because of certain things. If you are one of those people that has hesitations, it may not be what they're making it out to be. I'll put it that way. So just, you know, give it a shot. I think you might be surprised. But um, anyways, I was really in love with that. So we did go see that, and my daughter had her birthday party, as I mentioned. It was unicorn, rainbow, princess tea party themed. So the girls had a lot of fun, but whoo, it was crazy. That many five and six year olds running around. They had so much fun though. I did um, my daughter's hair. We made like a unicorn horn. I posted a picture, I think on Instagram of um, that. So if you follow me, then you've probably seen it. If not, um, you I guess you can follow me. I'll try to have my info down below. It's mostly like family stuff. It's nothing beauty related. So if you just care about the beauty, then you wouldn't be interested in my Instagram. But um, that was that was the big excitement of the weekend. And then also, I do have a few beauty products I was going to talk about. Okay, I did start a new Project Tin Pan, which you have not seen the video for that yet. But I had picked my MAC All That Glitters as one of my items. Okay, I want to know. Do y'all get like to where... Like, I did not like this on my eyelids. And this used to be one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. It's like, I'm not liking how these really shiny things are looking at all on my face. Okay, I had to answer the phone, so I can't remember exactly what I was saying. But I like shimmer. I like glitter. I'm not opposed to that. But something about it I don't like. Do you ever go on phases to where you're like, I don't like glittery eyeshadows. Or I don't like shimmery eyeshadows. Or I don't like matte eyeshadows. Because part of me is like, oh, I need to get rid of it. But then I think, what if I change and I'm just like in a phase to where I'm liking different eyeshadow colors? I don't know. It's just, let me know if your tastes like go in and out. I, I don't know. I, just, I didn't like it on me at all. Okay. A few more little beauty things. I have this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder. And I've just never really found a place for it. I have to say, I think it kind of smells. So if you have it, please tell me. Just so it makes me feel better. But what I've really enjoyed doing is using this little poof and applying it just in these areas. And it it does really kind of um, minimize your pores. It's It says it has silica, which silicones break me out. I haven't noticed this breaking me out, I don't think. So I don't know if silica is like the same thing, if it's a form of, I don't know. Y'all let me know. And then this is the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip, which I've had for a little while. They have a rose gold one coming out. And that frostbite one, I'm kind of like, mm. well, when I originally picked this up, I put it like full on on my lips. And I was like, oh gosh, no, I looked like the Tin Man. It was terrible. And I saw... Um, Makeup by Tiffany D used it in a video, so I decided to pull it back out. And you need to, like, actually wipe off some because you get a lot. And everybody says, apply gloss in the center of your lips. So I would do like that, and I didn't like it. So what I do is kind of like the inner two-thirds. And I really like it. I might have even used a little too much. Like you can go, you don't need to go crazy on this lip gloss. I will say it smells absolutely amazing. But I have really liked it. I think I'm kind of like understanding the whole center of your lip shiny gloss thing now. Because before I didn't really, um, it didn't seem to do a whole lot for me. But I like it if you do it about this much. So, I don't know. If you have the frostbite, tell me what you think about it. Because it's really pretty looking. And then the rose gold one looks pretty. But, I don't know, um, you know, if you really need it if you have this one. I hope the camera's picking this up if you have not seen it. It is so freaking shiny and just, it's very pretty. It is a pretty, pretty product. Okay, two more things. I got a Vox box from Influencer. There for a while I was on like the family Vox box plan somehow. 
like free diapers and laundry softener and markers. Free stuff, that's great, but like I want the Bite and the YSL and the Kat Von D that all you other people are getting. Well, I got the Charm Box, which I got a um, pack of Peeps, a thing of um, taco seasoning, a few other little things. But I did get this nail polish, which is one of the new Wet n Wild um, One Step Gel Coat, whatever. I painted my nails last night. It's in the shade Peary Winkle of an Eye. It's really pretty. Like, really, really pretty. Very impressed. And I really liked the brush. I did also get a um, travel size of the Eva NYC Shampoo and Conditioner. But I'll just talk about those in an empties video coming up. Because I obviously haven't had a chance to try it. So... Not as fun of a box box as some people, but I liked it. And then lastly, Firmu had emailed me asking if I wanted another pair of eyeglasses if I did a review. Which, of course, I was really excited to do because I... A fair, I mean, a pair of free eyeglasses is great. But the benefit is that you guys can get a free pair as well. You just have to pay for shipping, which is, I think, between 5 and $6. They do come from China. It takes about two weeks. Now, a few things. They are not as good quality as the glasses you get from your eye doctor. If you wear glasses 100% of the time, I don't know if these are the ones for you. They may be like a better companion or backup pair. If you're not super familiar with your glasses and your prescription, you may want to get them checked out by your eye doctor to make sure they're on par with your prescription. You um, give them your prescription and then you have to measure between the center of I think your iris and that one and give them that measurement So for me, I have a small head and I guess my measurement is small. So really wide glasses. I can't physically wear Because there's just not enough, you know, they're not close enough So that kind of limits me But I had been wanting a pair of prescription sunglasses for a while so I saw these on the website and they were very similar to the Ray-Ban Wayfair um, style. They definitely have, they're not as like good quality filling as the Ray-Bans. But what's really neat about them, I didn't even realize, is they are actually eyeglasses. It's like magnetized. It does have like a little clip right there. <clears throat> and you can see they are not super thick so it's not like they're this big bulky you know, crazy pair of glasses with your sunglasses attached. I'm not going to put them on right now because I would blind myself because I'm wearing my contacts. But I was so excited to get them because I'm one of those people, even if it's raining, I'm wearing my sunglasses in the car because I just, I have to have sunglasses on outside. And some days, if I'm wearing my glasses and I have to go drive, then I wear a pair of sunglasses on top of them. I, you know, I look like a crazy granny going down the road but so I will leave the code down below it's not a code it's a link and you can just enter in your info but you will get a free pair of glasses you will just have to pay the shipping and handling which I think my husband's gonna order a pair because it's really worth it with that kind of discount my other pair from them I still wear all the time I wear my glasses primarily like at nighttime and sometimes on the weekends it comes with a case a little um Kind of like pouch and a keychain kind of eyeglass screwdriver so that's actually a really handy tool to have but um so if you have not gotten any from firmu i do suggest if you wear glasses it's worth it for at least a backup pair i do not get anything from it by the way it's strictly i already got what i'm going to get and that's a free pair so if you use it you would get a pair no commission no extra cents back or anything so but that is all I'm going to go. My throat is about to die on me. I'm going hoarse. Um, but I will talk to you guys next week. So thanks for watching. Bye.